Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be installing an adjustable air vent valve for a steam radiator. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech and let's begin by taking off the face covers so we can gain access to the steam coil and air vent valve. All right, so we got the face cover off, and this is actually a PTAC unit where you have air conditioning. And if you look above here, there's your air vent valve, and above here is a radiator. Got a copper coil, and this is how they get their heat. Right now we have the valves closed, as when this was starting, this air vent valve just shot a ton of water and it's time to replace it and it actually might not be rated for this level. We're on the sixth floor and those actually might be only leveled for the third. So just for this video purposes, I wanna take off this cover so you guys can see clearer, but you do not need to do this to replace this valve. All right, so here we have full access. So we have one pipe coming in, this comes up this way, comes this way then you can see there's a tilt on here and it condensates its way down here's your second uh, valve comes down check valve and so forth so right now the first thing you would do is you would want to close your valves right now when it's in this position your valves are closed if it was facing up it would be open so we close the valves everything should have drained by now really you just want to close this one you can open this because it actually drains down this one, let the water pass down. And we can start to unscrew this. Maybe put a piece of plastic or something here, but this has been off for a little while. Now we could just spin this by hand, carefully. Right there, and it's out. Simple as that. So here's the old air vent valve, and here's the new one that I'm gonna be replacing it with. This one is adjustable, so there's a little level here, and depending on how open or closed you have it, it's gonna allow a certain amount of air through here. If we face it to the left, it's open, so we, here's open all the way, and then this way, it's gonna be closed all the way. So, yes, you always wanna make sure that this is rated for the level of the floor that you're on. Sometimes people just grab whatever. So here's some Teflon tape. I wanna wrap it around the threads and we're simply just gonna tighten this on. All right, so I got some Teflon around the threads. You can start off by hand. Let's get this threaded in. Right there. Take a small adjustable, and give it its last spin. You don't want to over tighten these. So right there, right now I have it in the closed position and we can open our valves. This is the main one that's gonna let the heat through. So that's open. Now we could begin to open this air vent valve. Hopefully get some air through and let's wait for the steam to rise and let's hopefully we get some heat. So far, no water, that is a good sign. Look for the pipe coming in. It's at 67, 68 degrees and that's actually room temperature. Today's weather, it's November 30th, it's actually 57 degrees. So this building system does not turn on the heat until it's 50 degrees or lower in the outside. It works off of ambient control. So we're not actually gonna be able to see, but that this is how you would install your air vent valve. I will start with it closed and then slowly adjust it so you don't get any water coming out. And that's pretty much it. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.